Hi there, this is Desiree Savory, and I'm going to show you how to add the IBS and Consumer Protection Notice on your real estate Facebook page. The first thing you want to do is go into the settings area. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings area, and under the settings area, you want to make sure that under templates and tabs, you're going to select templates and tabs, you're going to scroll down and make sure that under templates and tabs, notes is enabled. Okay, so if you look under here, see where it says add a tab, make sure you click on add tab and in here, make sure notes is enabled. If you don't have live video turned on, but you want to make sure that that's turned on too. So once you've turned that on, you want to go back to page. So go back to the top, select page. And then under there, you'll see notes. Okay. So when you select notes, and you'll see I've taught this quite a few times, so I've got quite a few of them here, but this is where you're going to add a note. You select the add note up here at the top right. So you click on add note, and this is where you're going to add a title. Okay, so I would put in the words legal notices as a title. Okay, so to save time, we're just going to type in the words that you need. So underneath here, where it says write something, you're just going to add an in information about brokerage services. That will be the first line of text. Okay. Then you hit the enter key. And then we'll add in Texas Real Estate Commission Consumer Protection Notice. So this is the destination. This is where the information is going to be added. So we have to go get our source. Our source is going to be at HAR. So if you already have HAR open, right, we're just going to go over to HAR. The tab is going to be open at the top. So we have our, our uh, Facebook page. We have our tab for HAR here. And then in our HAR tab, we'll go into my account on the left. And then you're going to go over to account information. And then you're going to go down to information about brokerage service. So when you select information about brokerage services, there are two links there. The first one, we're going to click on the pink one that says information about brokerage services, select copy link or copy URL, select that. You'll notice it says it's copied, right? We'll go back to our destination, which is your page. And then this is what I want you to watch first. We're going to highlight the words information about brokerage services. So highlight it. Once you highlight it, you're going to get an option. Let go, you'll see th you're going to see options at the top. Select the one for link, right? And then you're going to right click and paste the link in it. And then hit the enter key on the keyboard. Okay? Then we're going to go back to our source, hit copy URL. Okay? Go back to our destination. Highlight the next sentence that we've got. Select link, right click, and paste our link and hit enter. Now we've got our second link in here. Now, then we're going to go up to the top and we can click to add our photo. Our photo might be something we already had. We can add any photo that we want, right? You can select anything. Select uh, one of the options that you have in your headers that you previously had, or if you uh, want to um, create, you know, if you already have something previously created, you can add something that's previously created. So once you've created a header that you want, you click on it, make sure that whatever header that you have has your um, broker represented. So you want to make sure that your broker logo is in there, okay, on the header. And once you've added that, from there, there you're going to select uh, publish, okay? Okay, so once you've published it, um, you want to share it. Now, the reason why you want to share it is because for some reason, notes does not go to the, um, it does not go to the uh, stream anymore. So you want to click on share. 
and then select share to page. So you're going to click on the share to page. Right? So make sure you're sharing it to the right page. If you have more than one page, then you want to make sure you're sharing it to the correct page, the page that you really want it on. And then you're going to post it. Okay. Now, once it's posted on your page, click on close. Once it's posted on your page, you have to navigate to your page from this point because it goes back to your profile page. So you're going to navigate back to your page, go back to your business page. Once you get to your business page, you will see that the post is on the page. Okay, you're going to hit the three dots to the right and select pin to top of page. Now your post is going to be the first that people will see when they visit your page. All visitors will see that post first. When they open up that post, they can click on any one of those links to view them. And that's how you create your notice for your page.